morning everybody and thanks for stopping by to check out another uh, update video uh, so I've been fighting the flu for the past week and I'm just now getting over it so there wasn't a lot of progress made uh, despite all the things that I wanted to get done this week um, but a couple big things that did happen uh, were one I added support for the new uh, Sony Bluetooth dongle and that was actually just a matter of adding the uh, the product ID into the hardware scan for the library so that was it was actually very easy um, <clears throat> and hopefully um, I, I don't have the device to test it but uh, I think a couple people said that it was working fine which is that change so um, another benefit of that is it looks like the new Sony dongle does allow audio support um, and it's through the native Windows audio so that's it's kind of made me change my opinion on that dongle where originally um, since you can only pair one controller to one dongle um, the addition of the audio support the wireless audio support to the controller makes it like if you're a single player and you're just using it for your home entertainment system it might be worth it at this point now I mean that seems like a cool feature so um, that has nothing to do with input mapper if you get the dongle um, the actual audio device will just show up in windows and you can use it just like any other audio device so that's cool um, no fuss needed there um, another addition is the uh, the new sony dualshock 4 controller that's part of the playstation uh, 4 slim um, i went ahead and added support for that uh, since it does register itself as a different kind of controller even though it's the hardware of it's almost exactly the same it does have a new uh, product ID so I had to add support for that into the uh, hardware library as well and at the same since I was already doing the dongle it seemed like easy enough to just add that as well so uh, both of those new devices are part of input mapper um, the update will officially be pushed with the next uh, 1.6 patch that I'm working on but in the meantime, you can download just these two uh, DLLs and swap them out in Input Mapper. And I'll have the link to where you can download those from in the uh, description of this video. So you can get that if you have the new uh, adapter or the new, uh, new controller and start using those immediately. Um, if you don't, there's no real reason to get it because those are the only uh, real changes that you would notice um, using these two DLLs. So... Um, I wouldn't bother if you don't have either of those. Um, all that aside, uh, the same things I said I was working on last week, pretty much that's exactly what I'm going to be doing this week. Um, working on, you know, integrating that hardware library into Input Mapper Lite and hopefully getting Input Mapper Lite out as soon as possible. Um, I might do an interim uh, patch for um, Input Mapper 1.6. Uh, just to get some of the stuff that I have completed out there to people. Um, stuff like redoing the macro UI and uh, finishing up the hardware library. It's probably going to take a little bit longer in Input Mapper 1.6, so I'll just save that for like a 1.61 patch or something like that. So, um, so that about does it with uh, news and things that I have planned. Um, right now I'm about to switch all my equipment over to get ready for a live stream this morning and I hope you guys check that out. I'll be uh, live streaming some more Star Citizen. Um, I got a couple new ships and you know we're going to go to a couple new places and check them out. So uh, yeah stay tuned for that. Hopefully uh, check out the Star Citizen uh, gameplay. It's a pretty cool game. Alright guys have a good one.